Well, good morning, everybody, um, and welcome to another episode of my rambling, uh, random ramblings. Um, I'm coming to you today from uh, Diamond Lake, which is a beautiful site just north of Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Um, you know, I love the fact that I can do this because of the technology. I can be out here camping and uh, yet still keep up with my blog. You know, a lot of people would uh, feel just the opposite about that and uh, feel that one of the real problems with today's technology is the inability to get off the grid and to disconnect. Um, but that's a topic for another time. What I really wanted to talk to you about today was um, a question I'm asked all the time, and that has to do with where do I get started with my social web journey? You know, do I jump on Twitter? Do I create a Facebook page? Uh, do I get on LinkedIn? What about YouTube? What about a blog? Um, and the typical way I answer that is that, you know, there is no one size that fits all. Uh, where, what you do with social media will have a large, will be determined to a large degree by your own uh, culture, your organization's culture, uh, your strategy, your goals that you set for uh, your social media effort. <clears throat> but, you know, I think I also have a different opinion about that. And that is before you really get started with social media, I think it's a critically important that you have a really good, solid, relevant, current, up-to-date website. Um, so if your website is, you know, one of the, uh, you know, you built it nine years ago and it's still a very static website, I think the first thing you might want to do is consider reinventing your website. Put it on a blog uh, platform, something like WordPress, uh, which will allow you to update and keep uh, the content of that website current and relevant. Uh, the reason I think a, a website is so important is that it is your foundation, it's your core, it's, um, it's where people are going to come to really get information about you, to understand who you are, uh, to know more about your organization. And um, so, you know, before you get too excited about Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and all of the social media stuff that can be done, I would really uh, suggest that you first make sure that you've got a good website. Uh, so um, that would be step number one. And then, you know, once you've done that, uh, you know, part of that web effort will be a blog. And a blog doesn't mean that you have to be, uh, you can be do what I'm doing. You can do a video blog. You can write a couple paragraphs um, about something you want to discuss. Uh, you, you want to uh, actually talk about stuff that is in, interesting to you and your organization and that s things that you know about. It shouldn't be salesy. Um, you don't want to get out there and, and shout at all of the people that visit your website about buy, buy, buy. Uh, rather, I think it's to uh, show your, your personality. Um, put a human touch on your agency logo and your agency brand. Um, but again, uh, step number one, a good, solid, strong website. And uh, then you can think about Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and uh, LinkedIn and all of the rest of it. Uh, so that's it for today. I'm going to get off now and going to actually head up to Crater Lake. Talk to you all later.